Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Random Generator. Before I start this video, I want to thank you all for uh, joining my channel and especially uh, I really thank this guy for starting, starting that out. Anyway, in today's video, uh, we will be making a Chrome extension. So, I have created a basic extension which uh, is this. You generate random usernames. And this is actually uh, inspired by the previous uh, project. In the previous video, I showed you how you can uh, generate usernames in Dino and uh, basically how you can deploy it as a package. So, uh, okay, so how do we do that? First things first, uh, what you need to do is actually, it's a really good starting point uh, to go ahead and uh, get the Hello Extensions project from uh, the Chrome developers uh, website. So, uh, in this website, I've, which I will provide link in the description, uh, you go to the sample page and in the sample page, uh, you just uh, click on that and it will download the Hello Extensions. So. Uh, what's in that page? So, uh, you actually uh, download a zip file and when you extract it, you get a project file. And in that project file, uh, you'll get an HTML uh, file, a PNG, and a manifest.json. And uh, let's look at them uh, one by one. What HTML file is, is that once you clicked on an extension, uh, a little window pops up. Inside that window, what you uh, want to show uh, the user is basically all uh, go into that HTML file. And after that, we just have a PNG file and in that PNG file is the logo of your uh, extension. And after that, we have manifest.json. In that file, uh, you specify the properties of your extension like name, description, and and you can also uh, insert some behavior into that, like which uh, default pop-up pop uh, will be used or which icon should be used. So uh, in my case, I created a user.png, which is uh, the dude you can see here with the cog on his head. <laughs> I know it's uh, silly, but it's also cool. So I put that, uh, for instance, right there, and also changed the name right here. Uh, and inside our HTML, fi HTML file, uh, we also create a basic layout. And as you can see, uh, it is really simple in that case. But uh, there is one important, to, important thing to mention that uh, here is that uh, you cannot uh, use inline scripts for, a, for example, uh, CD. Uh, my button is uh, just a really simple button, and I don't have like on-click uh, behavior implemented in that and it will not work for security reasons I guess so what you need to do is uh, let's say if you want to uh, obviously inside this in insert a script you can do that uh, and you just insert your script like this and in your script uh, you just add an event listener and uh, go on from there and uh, of, speaking of scripts, uh, as you can see, we have really basic script right there. And <laughs> I know it looks disgusting, but uh, we'll get into that, that in a second. So uh, this script is, uh, as I mentioned previously, uh, inspired by uh, the Dino uh, video. So in that video, I'll uh, create this thing, which is a random username generator. And uh, it's written in uh, TypeScript. So, what I did was I convert everything into JavaScript, which is a really simple task. And then I included my JSON files as an array. Again, disgusting, but it works for now. This is this video is a, basically is a really simple demonstration, so I don't go into the, the performance aspects of it. Uh, anyway, uh, what is done? What I did is uh, here is that uh, I just created a random integer and. Uh, in my function, I uh, basically combine nouns and adjectives according to the random int uh, that I received and change the, uh, the element uh, right there, which, which is again a header element. Okay, so uh, that's all cool and stuff like that, but how do we actually test that? And well, that's a great question. 
So what you will need to do is uh, go ahead and open up your uh, extensions window and to access that uh, you need to do is again I just start from there you can just Chrome and extensions well I'm using actually Opera and if I uh, type Opera here it will work uh, just fine but uh, uh, you're probably using Chrome or any other pro uh, browser and this uh, command will probably redirect it to the uh, extension of your preferred uh, browser so if I did that as you can see we just go into the extensions so let me just remove it so once you uh, go into there what you want to do is enable the developer mode and after you have enabled the developer mode uh, you want to load your extension by clicking the load unpacked once you did that you what you want to do is go ahead and locate the uh, your extension uh, directory so I select that and hit select folder as you can see uh, now it's uh, placed right under the extensions and it is uh, running right there and you can test it that way and uh, that's basically it for the video hope you liked that one and if that is the case please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing and see you next time thanks